If you're looking for a small portable decimal meter, the Tadeo just might be it. Hey there, this is a quick review of the Todato Digital Sound Leveling Meter Portable SPL Meter. Goes from 30 decibels all the way up to 130 decibels. So let's go ahead and open the box. It's got a nice branded box, so it's not just coming in some generic box where it looks like a third party, uh, third party company is selling it. It's got a nice carrying case with a little uh, loop handle. So if you want to carry it, nice, decent quality zipper. And inside, I was surprised to find a screwdriver. Um, so you'll need this in order to add the battery. Also comes with an instruction manual. And then of course, the sound meter itself. Let's go ahead and take it out of the bag. And the nice thing is it comes with a little foam tip for it. So if you're outdoors and it's windy, uh, you can put this on. That'll help buffer the wind noises, which will obviously bump up the, uh, the sound a little bit. On the back here, if you look, there is a place for a screwdriver. That's where the screwdriver comes. I believe it was a double a battery, which was included. So a complete kit. You don't have to worry about buying any accessories in order to turn it on. Just hold the power button down for two seconds. That will turn it on. It has a nice LCD screen that is backlit and the backlit is on all the time. So you don't have to uh, worry about it. This comes in, has two different options for two different modes. One is going to be a fast or slow. So if you hold this down right now, it's on the fast. If you'll notice how quickly the numbers are changing, it's updating. I think it's every 0.2 seconds or something like that when it's in fast mode. And then if you hold this down for just a quick second, now it's in slow mode. So it's actually updating every second. Uh, instead of every couple of tenths of a second. The other option is right now, this shows down at the bottom, it's in DBA. And DBA is going to be what your uh, ear essentially is hearing. So it's calibrated for what your ear is essentially cal calibrated for. I'm going to throw up an image here so you can take a look at that if you want to. Feel free to pause the video. And then if you hold the power button down just for a split second, it now switches over to DBC. And this, I get the sense that this is, the ear kind of drops off as far as what it's able to hear. And so if you're in a very loud setting uh, factory, as an example, and you need to hear spikes or peaks that maybe go beyond the capability of what the human hearer is going to hear, or it's perception of what it's going to hear, then you want to go into C. It defaults to A, which is going to be the most common uh, version. As far as build quality goes, it's kind of this rubbery plastic and the tip of it here is metal. So it all looks very good. A couple other features about this sound level meter is that it will auto power off after 10 minutes. So if you do leave it on, it'll turn off and there is a low battery indicator. And if the battery gets too low where it's not able to accurately read anything, it will let you know. Also, I think it's a great little product for if you're looking for a sound meter.